When I got intrigued with light and I started looking at the historical information about light, of course it mentioned to me the Incans, the Aztecs, the Egyptians, everybody looked at the sun. Everybody looked at the sun. Here today, don't look at the sun, you'll burn your eyeballs out. For me, sun gazing was interesting in that as I found that I was able to do it longer, I could allow more of the light to enter without really, not only not, har not, only not harming my eyes, but my eyesight improved. You see, the eye has all of these blood vessels inside. And every two hours, 100% of the new blood volume is pumped through the eyes. If you're outdoors, if you're sun gazing, this blood is being irradiated with light. No light, a lot of that food that goes in, no matter how organic and how rich it is with vitamins and minerals, it goes in one end and out the other. In other words, that particular substance has to interact with a certain portion of the light spectrum in order to be ignited into the metabolic process. I had an experience in 1994. I, I met a whole group of people in Australia that were living without eating, which was a no-no based on all of the scientific training that I had. But in December of that year, I in fact did an experiment. Uh, of course, I didn't go into it as an experiment, I mean, I had the feeling I'm just going to stop eating. But I did this and I didn't eat for nine weeks. And so one of the things that I discovered is, one, I could go eight days without drinking. Two, you can live without eating. There's no question about it. It's not a theory for me, nothing I need to prove. I know it firsthand. I did it. I lived with people that did it. I have friends of mine that didn't eat for over a year. So I know that that's possible lose your desire for food. Um, I also know that if you believe that if you don't eat you'll die, then if you stop eating you'll probably die. But if you have the experiences I had that you don't eat and not only do you live but you've got high levels of energy, you sleep just as well, the body feels good, Nothing changes in terms of anything you do, you're just not eating. Well, something changes, it's very powerful actually. You are consistently confronted by the aspects of your life that we muffle away by eating. So you asked the question before about is there anything to do? There's nothing to do. However, there's no way of stopping yourself of doing what you're doing because that's part of the, your engine just doing its thing. I mean, if, if, if an awakening happened today, nothing in your life would change. Well, the truth is no matter what I tell you, it's not the truth. The only part that's searching for an answer is the part that can never hear the answer. The mind wants to know, is it this way, is it this way? We're never going to know anything. The only thing we know is what's our own direct experience. My interest has been for many years uh, longevity why people die. That was basically the, the quest I was born with. And I was also born with another strange thing compared to normal people. I didn't like to eat. I absolutely didn't like to eat. I didn't understand why people ate. I don't know where it came from, but it was the way it was. As you become more healthy, more energy flows through the system, then you become more sensitive. So at my stage of the game, I've been doing this for years, I got to the point where my energy was so high, one, I can't live with anybody. As you can see, my nearest neighbor is several miles away. Now, I'm not here because I like to be alone. It's just that I can't live with anybody. I'm 
67 years old and I've been gazing in the sun for a long time. I own recording studios and I recorded people like Led Zeppelin, Iron Butterfly, and Jimi Hendrix were some of my clients. Around the time I was working with Jimi Hendrix in New York is really the time I got really inspired because when he passed away, as many of my clients did, I just became obsessed with the idea of finding out why we die. And so as I looked around, I noticed most of the people that actually had any knowledge about this type of thing always fasted. So I decided to try fasting to see what would happen. And sure enough, the first fast I did, which was about 10 days, I ended up having 10 times more energy. I happened to be living at the time on Muscle Beach in California where the bodybuilders work out. And I decided one day to go out and see if I could lift any weight. So I went out to the weightlifting pen and I started putting on the weights. And the first time I was out, I noticed as I put the plates on, the weights got lighter. So the very first time I walked into the weightlifting pen, I ended up with 800 pounds on the bar. At the time we had Arnold Schwarzenegger, Mr. T, a lot of the other you know, professional bodybuilders, and to them I was sort of like a joke because I'm a little skinny guy lifting all that weight. But when I started lifting 1,100 pounds of weight, I started to get a little attention. Before I fasted, I couldn't lift probably 50 pounds. I never even tried to. So then I had a whole new uh, direction to look in because now I needed to find out why it is I lift, I eat less, and suddenly, without any other disciplines, I'm 10 times stronger. We eat because we don't have enough energy. But what happens when you're in the sun, which is a natural energy for all living things, right? When you have enough sun, then the energy in the body rises to the point where you don't have an appetite, so there's no need to eat. That doesn't mean I have not been eating for 30 years. My purpose for eating is to lower my frequencies, not to increase it. It's almost like for me, it's necessary to not be too healthy because otherwise I wouldn't be able to go out and be anywhere. I might want to pull it a little more, maybe. We want to use the smaller 45s. But well, we're going to put a whole bunch on there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We're going to put more But you want to put, well, I don't know about a thousand. Sure. No, no. Are you kidding well, we'll, we'll, we'll see what we Let's can. see what we can do. If I can lift the bar, I'll, I'll be happy. And I did lift the bar. <laughs> How many hours do you sleep a week, Wiley? Well, I sleep, I, I normally sleep one to seven hours a week. And I mean, some nights I sleep one hour, some nights I sleep a little more. What are you doing all that time? Well, that's the thing, just, um, I hate to admit it, but I get a little bored once in a while. No, you're not supposed to, you're spiritual, enhanced. <laughs> Fasting is basically a belief system. I mean, whether one eats or not is a belief system, without a doubt. I discovered that is the belief system that controls our lives. For example, ask anybody, what do you think would happen if you don't have any food? Right off the bat, they say, I will die. But I never warm up, I never exercise, so... I should just warm up a tiny bit. Because, oh man. Want to go walk okay. the treadmill a little bit? I lifted 500 pounds of weight to demonstrate that the lifting of the weight basically has to do with the amount of energy that flows through the system. At my age, even, I can still lift, uh, you know, at least five or 600 pounds. So that was the demonstration. And I also learned that I probably should exercise a little more. <laughs> mm -hmm.